and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey. The asset store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for June 24. In this first video I'll be covering a list of free assets, and next ones I'll be covering paid assets and tools. Let me know in the comments if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do with them. Do you want to get more wishlists and more sales? If so, then you need to learn all about marketing. It's absolutely essential nowadays. You need to learn the best practices and how to stand out. One place where I've learned a lot myself has been from Chris Zukowski. I've been reading the newsletter for many years now. Learning marketing is definitely one of the most valuable skills you can get. The difference between not knowing marketing and putting this knowledge into practice is pretty much going to be the difference between selling just a dozen copies versus selling thousands. So marketing is definitely a super valuable skill that you should spend either some time or some money in order to learn. And right now Chris is running a sale on his courses. This is really awesome for condensing a ton of information in a single course. The links to the course include a special discount and they are affiliate links, which means you get an awesome deal and some super valuable knowledge while I get a nice commission. This is a special sale that only happens twice a year, so definitely get it quickly, it's ending next week. So check it out with the link in the description. Oh and the Cinti store is also having a sale right now. If you need any of their awesome low poly assets, definitely check it out. All in their gorgeous low poly style, up to 70% off. Alright, so onto the top 10 list, starting off with a really nice visual effect. This one takes your game and renders it in ASCII. It makes for a really interesting visual effect. You can customize the characters or the color palette to get a unique look, exactly what you're going for. This certainly makes your game stand out. You can customize it in many ways and even interpolate between various effects. Like I said, it looks very unique. If you apply an effect like this onto your game or just parts of your game, it can certainly help it stand out. Then if you need some volumetric fog, here is a nice free package. Volumetric, in case you don't know, means that the fog has an actual shape, so you can see the fog peeking through all the objects in your scene. This is one of those effects that really helps even just a basic scene look much better. You can customize the intensity or the various parameters for the ray marching algorithm. The results really look really nice, so perhaps try it out for your next prototype. Then if you need a simple voxel character with a gun, check out this one. It's pretty generic, it's exactly what you expect. It comes fully rigged, so it works with any mechanism animations. Or if you don't need a character, you can pick this up and just use the really nice Voxel AK-47. Then if you're tired of your duplicate objects having a strange format, check out this simple tool. It helps you rename a list of game objects with whatever suffix or prefix you want. It's a pretty simple tool that can be quite useful if you duplicate objects all the time and you don't like the default naming scheme. Which by the way, actually in recent Unity versions, you can modify that inside of Unity itself. You can tell it to use the number in parentheses after the underscore and so on. Although this tool does have some extra options and you can also rename objects after being created. Next, every game needs to have some kind of settings menu. So if you want a tool to help you easily create a settings menu, then look at this one. In just a few minutes, you can create a fully functioning settings menu with all the settings you want and whatever visual you want. It includes support for menu navigation with either a keyboard or a gamepad. So all the arrows, all directions, those are already set up by default. It supports both the old input manager or or the input system, it even works in both Unity UI and UI Toolkit. All in all, this is a really nice, impressive, very capable tool. This is a free version and there's also a paid version with even more features. Then if you want to quickly make a nice RTS game, check out this modern vehicle pack. You've got planes, helicopters and APCs. They come with some realistic textures, but you could also make them stylized. For example, you could get a red texture for one faction and a blue texture for another one. So you could definitely use this as a starting point to make a classic RTS. You can just pick up this pack and quickly get started. And by the way, I'm actually in the process of making a complete RTS course. So if you're interested, check it out with the link in the description. Also, if you like this pack, then this have has a paid pack with even more units. Next, if you do pick up those RTS assets, here is a tool to help you set up formations. It helps you generate various formation positions with any number of units and various settings, so you can make a line, circle, rectangle, or a cone. This one is the free version, and there's also a paid version of this asset. Or maybe you just need a simple surveillance camera object, so here's one. Pretty simple, it's just the model exactly as you expect. It's pretty high quality, high quality mesh, high quality textures. This one could be just a simple visual prompt, or since you can actually rotate parts individually, you could even have the player control the camera in some kind of CCTV game. Next, here's another super nice, simple tool that does just one thing and does it very well. When you make a new build, it automatically increments the build version number. So if you make lots of builds, like for example, if you're constantly testing out some kind of multiplayer game, if so, then this can help you save quite a bit of time. If you visually show it on screen, you can very easily tell if you're running the latest version or not. And of course, it's all automatic so you don't have to manually remember to increase the number by one. Or maybe you just need a really nice rock mountain terrain, kind of like this one. It's a pretty nice looking scene. You've got the terrain and a bunch of rocks and trees, so this could be a great start for making some kind of adventure game, or just use it exactly like this in some kind of fun diorama game. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity Asset Store for June 24. There's links to all in the description, and also check out my own free and on the store. 
And if you want to find more success with your games, check out the link in the description to learn from a Steam marketing expert. All right, hope that's useful. Check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.